Hello all! Today I'm going to unbag Bazala, the Cauldron. This is from Revolution Games and it's designed by Roger Miller. Uh, as I continue on this World War II week, which will not be the last World War II week, trust me, uh, I'm trying to do some variety of, of publishers and games. So as you follow this week, uh, Hopefully I'm giving you uh, some different looks at some different games, different mechanisms, and different uh, publishers, for that matter. So this is Revolution Games. Uh, a lot of their games uh, do come in bags or Ziploc, and uh, that doesn't mean they're not good games. Uh, they're just, uh, they're, they're easily portable. So this is Gazala, The Cauldron, uh, Libya, May, as we see here. Uh, May 27th to June 1st, 1942. Uh, so let's get inside. Well, yeah, let's get inside the uh, bag because there's there's no back there's no back of the box to look at there. Uh, this is dealing in North. Uh, this is um, a conflict in North Africa, part of the North African theater during World War II. And what we get here is we have like the cover sheet, which also sort now this, I like this. I like it when they don't have wasted or dead space. So on the back of that cover sheet there, we have uh, the player chart, which gives you your combat results table, your terrain and action table, movement point cost, combat modifiers, CRT results, unit effects table, allied action shits, and access uh, action shits per turn. So this tells me right now, just looking at this, that with chits, the word chits, this is probably a chit pull game, right? That you're going to be pulling chits and that's going to let you do stuff. But, you know, I could be wrong. But I do like that. Right off, uh, right out of the bag, I'm already uh, liking what I see because they're not having wasted space there. Now we get into the rules. Ooh, dump some stuff out there. We have 12 pages of rules, dual column. Uh, I imagine this is just in black and white uh, because uh, typically Revolution doesn't get into a lot of color on this. Uh, it's kind of a, a somewhat of a minimalist type approach, but not necessarily um, in the quality of the game or the simulation, just in you know the way they publish stuff. So we, here, we have our table of contents. We have the rules here. We have a description of the counters. Let's take a little closer look at that. So you've got a unused side, used side. You've got your NATO kind of designations there. You've got a sequence of play, chit phase. Both players adjust their action chits and tactical chits in their cup and reset the action. So yeah, this is, you're gonna have chits in a cup. Gotta be careful how I say that. Uh, action chits, supply, initiative, action phase, movement, zones of control. What's a what's a war game without zones of control? Stacking, combat. Combat's a little bit more. Again, the the, the text is not um, super small. It's decent sized text and uh, dual column, so it's not like a ton of of information crammed into a space but you know it's it's there's still a lot of reading there's a few diagrams in here basically you know black and white or grayscale retreat disruption tactical chits so here's some of that talking about the chits here we've got stuff like combat extra move replacement air sandstorm anti-tank that's axis only uh, withdrawal attack allied only playing multiple tactical chits we have minefields, a couple pages on minefields, reinforcements, reinforcement schedule, victory conditions, and scenarios. We've got scenario one and the campaign game. So you've got two scenarios there. You've got player's notes and designer notes. There you go. All right, so that is the rules, 12 pages, not insurmountable. We have two counter sheets here. Brown with some color here. And these are these are decent thickness. I mean, looks like this gray core. Uh, not the thinnest, but not not super thick. 
Uh, I'm, it's been a while since I punched a Revolution game, so I'm not sure how they come out with nibs or not, whether these are automatically clippable or uh, desirably clippable, whether you want to clip them or not. Preference, I guess. It's the back, and then we've got this counter sheet here. That green is awful uh, vibrant. This is your disruptive marker. So you got some administrative markers here. So you have that. And then we have the map. And it's this is North Africa. So get ready for some tan. Here we go. Um, pull this up a little bit and get a little bit better look at this. Sorry for the glare there. So we got some... Uh, Destroyed unit boxes here, and then you have some actions, actions one through five. So that's what I guess we use your chits for. You've got victory point track here, and we're going to have, I imagine, the same thing on this side. But we also have the turn track here. So starting May 27th, which is not, you know, not too far away here, to June uh, 13th, I guess. Wow, look, there we go. There's the map in all its glory and then we can go a little bit closer here take a look at some of this stuff here you know not a lot of terrain i mean this is the desert you know so you have some uh i'm not sure if terrain factors in dramatically here look this is the darkest so that i guess that might be the highest so you have this, you have this uh, level <laughs> shade of brown, and then you've got a little faded shade of brown, then you've got just yellow or, or tan or whatever you want to call that. Sand, sand color. Well, there you have it there. Uh, this is the uh, cauldron. Now, uh, Gazala was a, a relatively uh, uh, important battle. Um, it, it's covered by more than one game. Uh, I don't have a lot of games covering it. I, I, I picked this one up too, because I thought it looked good. I, I thought uh, I don't have as much from Revolution. I wanted to try some more stuff from Revolution uh, to get a feel for it. Plus, I, you know, I, I like, again, I say minimalist, report, uh, minimalist approach. I'm not saying that this is, I'm not trying to discount it. I, I th This isn't, an, you know, doesn't, um, take up a lot of space. I mean, this is a decent sized map here. Um, you know, there's not a, a huge counter density here. The, the rules are 12 pages. Uh, they look generally, um, you know, uh, move and, and, uh, and counters on a hex grid. That looks familiar, but you also have this chit pull or these tactical chits. That looks a little bit interesting. So having said all that, I mean, th this this does look, uh, you know, this does pique my interest on uh, this battle and, and seeing it in a different light. So as I'm fiddling with everything on the board, I got to get it all set so we can see it in the uh, in all its glory here for... Uh, for the uh, for the closing so there you have it that's what i have for today uh continuing on with this world war ii week uh every once in a while i do some theme weeks when i collect enough content to put it together that way uh, if you've played this love to know your thoughts on this you love it hate it uh like what it does tell me a little bit about the chit uh play in this um how does this differ from other games that deal with gazala again uh, start a dialogue up really really like to see that uh as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, really appreciate it when you stop by, and, and I and I really mean that. You know, because I said really, that means I, I have to mean it. Um, the best way I know you stop by is drop me a comment. Talk about this. What do you think about this game? What do you think about uh, other games that cover this uh, conflict? What do you think about revolution games? Um, or what's on your mind in general? Just keep it civil. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you have a good one. Take care. Thanks for watching!